All right, with this question, we're talking about equilibrium. Uh, this question is taken from Kruger and Wells Microeconomics, Chapter 1, Question 8. Um, so first off, equilibrium. What is an equilibrium? Um, equilibrium is a situation in which no individual can make himself or herself better off by m taking a different action. Um, so in these questions, uh, which of the following situations describes an equilibrium? Uh, which does not. If the situation does not describe an equilibrium, what would an equilibrium look like? So let's start with example or question A. Um, many people regularly commute from the suburbs to downtown Pleasantville. Due to traffic congestion, the trip takes 30 minutes when you travel by highway and only 15 minutes when you go by side streets. Um, so a few things, uh, I guess first off, just kind of assuming that there aren't some other advantages to traveling by highway, like, uh, I don't know, maybe scenery or comfort or something, fewer turns or something along those lines, uh, then presumably uh, drivers and commuters are trying to minimize the time they spend. And so those highway drivers, if they simply switch to go to the side streets, they'd be able to save some time. Uh, and so this is an equilibrium. An equilibrium is a situation where no one benefits by deviating their their actions. And clearly, the by the way I've defined you know benefit, these highway driver drivers will benefit by going to the side streets to save time to get to Pleasantville. So an equilibrium would be uh, in this situation would be such that enough of those highway drivers switch over to the side streets, such that the the time of travel via highway and side street is the same. Um, so, you know, maybe 20 minutes each or something along those lines. Moving on to B. Um, at the intersection of Main and Broadway, there are two gas stations. One charges $3 per gallon for regular gas, and the other charges two eighty-five per gallon. Customers can get service immediately at the first, but must wait a long time, a long line for the second. So this kind of sounds like an equilibrium to me, or potentially is. So once again, an equilibrium is a situation such that no one benefits by deviating. Opportunity cost to time because uh, they have less time, so they might be willing to spend the extra 15 cents per gallon in order to wait in a shorter line. Uh, and presumably, the people who are willing to wait in line uh, in the second gas station uh, are willing to do so in order to save the 15 cents per gallon. Um, so I guess what I mean by that is um, this is an equilibrium if the following two things are true. Um, if the people who are buying gas at the $3 per gallon wouldn't benefit by simply waiting in line at the other gas station and, and saving those 15 cents, uh, and the people who are waiting in line at the second gas station paying two eighty five, dollars assuming those people wouldn't benefit by you know not waiting in line and spending a little bit more for the $3 situation, uh, $3 per gallon gas station. So that is to say, assuming no one here benefits by switching, uh, then this is in equilibrium. Uh, and then finally, question C. Every student enrolled at Econ, Econ 1 must attend a weekly tutorial. So section this week, there are two sections offered, section A and B, which meet at the same time in adjoining classrooms and are taught by equally competent instructors. instructors. Um, so I'm assuming here both sections are basically completely identical and otherwise equal. Uh, section A is overcrowded with people sitting on the floor and often unable to see the chalkboard, while, while section B has empty seats. So this is clearly not uh, an equilibrium. Uh, the idea is that people who are in the overcrowded section A, uh, if a few of them you know, move to section B, they would be able to get a more comfortable situation. So for example, any person sitting in section A, uh, assuming that's not kind of uncomfortable to them, assuming that is uncomfortable to them, they would be able to switch to section B for a more comfortable situation. So uh, an equilibrium in this situation would be such that uh, no student is better off by switching. Cool. So once again, this was a review of equilibrium, and an equilibrium is a situation in which uh, no economic agent or participant um, benefits themselves by switching their action or their strategy. Um, and generally in economics, we you'll see that a lot of the models and the things you'll learn, uh, there's this underlying assumption that things tend toward equilibrium. And so that's sort of the, you know, the, the thing economies tend toward with the models you're going to be learning. So it's an important concept to keep in the back of your mind. Thanks, and hopefully this was helpful.